Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Master's Table Virtual Church. We're in the house again. And today we're looking at Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. It says this, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Do you ever get the feeling like you want to bail out, leave, or split when things are getting a little crazy? I have to believe we all do on occasions. It could be for a multitude of things such as a bad relationship, a frustrating working environment, a tough financial commitment, the church we are attending, or even our Christian walk. The underlying common denominator is we feel uncomfortable and we just don't want to be at that particular place anymore. We might feel like just getting up and leaving is the best thing we could possibly do, and perhaps it is, but not always. Let me explain. Maybe, just maybe, God has us there because he desires to do a work in you and through, your, through our life. To use the difficult situations we face to get us to step up in our faith, or simply to stretch us in our walk. Perhaps he wants us to step up and work through the situation and not just take an easy route out. Let's take a look at five ways in which we can choose to handle these challenging types of situations. Well, number one, we can run away. This is probably the most common way to deal with an unpleasant, tough, challenging issues, issues because it's an easy way to handle what we believe to be the problem. Let's face it, confronting our difficulties is often uncomfortable and it's very tempting to simply bail out. This reaction leaves us right back where we started as we will inevitably end up facing the same challenges again because of our behavioral pattern. Just new faces, new relationships, new challenges, but the same you. We Number two, attack. This is another common way to deal with a situation as we can uh, become aggressive towards the person whom we feel is causing us to feel the way we do. It could be we are uh, being held accountable or the person may simply not be treating us the way we feel they should. It, it could be a multitude of reasons, but the effect is the same. It makes us want to lash out. This attacking reaction leaves us caught up in sin, and as a result, we, we will be filled with anxiety and anger. Number three, despair. Another way to deal with uncomfortable and challenging situations could be to lose hope and have an attitude of despair. In this situation, we will usually choose not to confront the issue. Instead, we will focus on the negative aspects of it, become depressed and dejected. This usually will lead to us being tempted to run away. Number four, fuss. <laughs> with this reaction to situations, we will start to complain or grumble about the person with the situation affecting us. We don't or won't entertain the possibility of a God wanting to use us here. Uh, we don't add any positive input, but instead we can be overcritical, begin to spew negatively about the situation to all those who would listen. And when we choose this path, we will find ourselves possessing a restless spirit and a lack of peace. Number five, we could... Wait upon the Lord. Yeah, I said, it. wait upon the Lord. This is the one option we should put at the top of our list as it is what God has called us to do. When we don't know what to do and we find ourselves tempted to bail, attack, despair, or grumble, we should bring it to the Lord in prayer. We're told to be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanks. Give it. Let your request be known to God and the peace of God which surpasses what? All understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. As we do what we know is right, according to God's word, and trust in his sovereignty, Romans 8, verse 28, and for that particular situation, we'll find a peace as we wait upon the Lord for his wisdom and will. I believe it's important to allow God to utilize his perfect timing in any situation, and to be patient in our waiting upon his leading. If we get impatient and choose not to wait, we'll miss the opportunity to allow God to share his grace upon others through us. We will miss the miracle he wants to do, and we would ultimately miss the transformation within our lives and their lives. So, according to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, what happens as we patiently wait upon the Lord? Think about that. Have you found yourself running away, attacking, despairing, or fussing with others when being faced with a difficult situation. Let's be committed to seeking the Lord's counsel in every situation. 
let's properly place our faith in him and continue to walk in truth let's pray Father, help us to have the insight to seek you in every situation. Help us to persevere in situations where we are tempted to bail out and run away. Show us what you would want us to do in each of these situations so we can allow you to reveal your glory and will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've been blessed. Continue to feast every day from the Master's Table.